A trailblazer, a pioneer, an innovator, a leader. So many words can describe Dr. Shirley Ann Jackson, yet so few do justice to articulate just how much impact she's had over the course of her career. Uh, the average tenure for a president in higher education is less than five years, actually it's 4.5 years. She's been in RPI for 22 years. That gives you some idea of the magnitude of her success and her ability to get things done successfully. So uh, 4.5 years versus 22 says a lot about not just her uh, and her leadership, but our ability to bring people together in the best interest of all stakeholders. Dr. Jackson embodies a strong sense of community that ripples throughout RPI and the surrounding capital region. She's a prominent national leader, but also cares a great deal about her students, faculty, and surrounding neighbors. Every year, RPI generously hosts a 5K race, where all proceeds benefit United Way as a part of their annual fundraising campaign. Rain or shine, Dr. Jackson is out there every year sharing high fives with participants who cross the finish line. It's such a simple act, but I've always loved the image of such a prominent woman acknowledging every person as they cross the finish line. I think it's a simple example of her humility and the example she sets for others that they can accomplish anything. She is one of the first two African-American women to receive a doctorate in physics in the United States. The first African-American woman to receive a doctorate from Massachusetts Institute of Technology. The first African-American woman to serve on the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission under President Bill Clinton. And the first African-American person or woman to leave that agency since it was created in 1974 by Congress. The Tocqueville Society recognizes local philanthropic leaders who have devoted time, talent, and resources to create long-lasting change by tackling our community's most serious issues. Dr. Jackson has been a trailblazer in our local Tocqueville Society, and we are so grateful for her generosity. Dr. Shirley Jackson is for me an example of someone with an abundance mindset. Where others see scarcity, not enough people, resources, time, someone with an abundance mindset sees endless opportunities. An abundance mindset encourages us to see all of the assets and strength that exist within our communities, between and within ourselves, and the opportunities for transformational impact that present themselves if we really harness those strengths. There are right now probably 40% of the presidents in the United States or, or female at, at universities, but when she started in 1999, there weren't very many. After working for her uh, for a few months, it became evident uh, that she and I uh, were on the same page relative to making sure that uh, students, not just student athletes, have academic success and that they're prepared to be successful in life after they graduate. So um, she's a remarkable leader. Uh, she's got great vision uh, and she has a global view of what higher education should look like, uh, not just now, but for the foreseeable future. When I think about the RPI partnership, I think about the incredible employees who contribute to the impact in our community, and I think about the way she inspires these colleagues to join her in her support and her advocacy for our neighbors. She's a leader who understands human beings, she understands the need, and she brings others into the fold. To the world, she's a national icon, a renowned physicist, a visionary scientist, educator, and public policy innovator. To the Capital Region, she is the first African-American woman president at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in Troy and has taken the college to new heights, fueling the Capital Region economy with a tenacious and talented workforce of graduates. To United Way, she has woven community and impact into the fabric of RPI, helping raise two and a half million dollars for our Capital Region communities since her appointment as president in 1999. With the support of leaders like Dr. Jackson, we are working to strengthen a culture of systems thinking and social innovation in the Capital Region. We believe that contributing to a healthier, equitable, and sustainable society requires breakthrough ideas and approaches, game-changing strategies and collaborations, and continuous learning and innovation. 
When United Way of the Greater Capital Region created the Capital Region Philanthropy Hall of Fame three years ago, Dr. Jackson was a natural inaugural member for her generosity and thought leadership in areas like science, technology, public policy, but also in philanthropy. One of the things that many people don't realize is uh, her deep concern and care for students. Uh, and I can recall that she was at one of our men's ice hockey games and one of our students uh, really we thought uh, was seriously injured and um, she said take me down there right away uh, I want to see the nature of injury and so we were going down there the doctors were there his parents were there and I got this wonderful note uh, saying thank you for Dr. Jackson's concern and that interest uh, not just as a, a student but as a person in the family and I could go on and on about how she relates to the families, um, how she interacts with our students, and how she has the highest of expectations for everyone at the university. Thank you, Dr. Jackson, for believing in us, for supporting us, for inspiring us to know that transformational change, not just incremental change, is possible. Dr. Jackson's numerous awards and wide range of work has paved the way in fields of science, technology, education, and public policy. She has proven that black women belong in leadership. This is Peter Gannon, President and CEO of United Way of the Greater Capital Region and a proud member of the Rensselaer Class of 2011. President Jackson, thank you for over two decades of strong support for United Way and the entire Capital Region community. From all of us at United Way, we wish you nothing but the best on this next phase of your life and your career. And thank you for your tremendous support.